the first day of February. I can't believe how quickly January went by. We're already in February and it's been so busy already. I mentioned, I think a few weeks ago that the beginning of this year was gonna be so, so busy. I feel like I haven't been posting a lot, like as much as I normally do on YouTube because it's just been so crazy busy. We've just been out doing so many things, a lot of activities going on, lots of birthdays going on, and February is going to be a busy month, but I'm so excited and I'm gonna bring you guys along this whole month. So today I am going to do some errands and I need to do some prep for my little mini girls getaway this weekend. We're going to a cabin in the country, kind of the country, I don't know, I've never really been there. I think it's pretty country, but we rented a big cabin for my 30th birthday and it's just gonna be me and all my girlfriends. So I wanna get stuff done. Um, I need to go like get a car wash, I need to pack and I'm the type of person that I can't do things last minute before I leave for a trip I need to give myself at least a couple days to prepare I don't know why I'm that way that's just the way I am I'd rather get things done early and make sure I am fully prepared even though it's only a two-day trip I just like I'm so comfortable in my home so when I have to leave my home for a couple days I want to make sure I feel like I'm at home and that I have everything I need because I require a lot of things that I need with me and then I need to work on a couple campaigns that are due while I'm gone so yeah we have a lot to do today and then the 6th I'm celebrating my birthday with my family because that's also my brother's actual birthday the 6th um, and then the 9th we head back out just me and Anto we're going to Antigua so I need to um, just like plan ahead I need to make sure that I'm planning my days right and that I am scheduling things like with my work and appointments, make sure that I'm scheduling things so that I'm not squeezing everything into one day. Um, that's just the type of person I am, but it pays off in the end because I stay organized and I always have everything I need with me to go on a trip. So I'm gonna make some breakfast really quick before I leave. I'm gonna make coffee and breakfast. Anto requested a breakfast burrito. So I'm gonna make a bacon, egg and cheese breakfast burrito. And I'm gonna be cooking these roasted potatoes with onion and uh, peppers from Trader Joe's. This stuff is like the perfect breakfast potatoes and they're really easy to make. I just throw them on the stove and let them heat up. And then, um, yeah, I'll cook the eggs. And then I got my bacon. We're gonna have a good old fashioned breakfast. I probably won't eat it as a burrito. I'm probably gonna just eat it like without the tortilla. Um, but yeah, so we're gonna cook breakfast, make some coffee. Mm, it's gonna be a great day. I've been loving the Ray Vegan Collagen. I've been using this, I think, for like a couple weeks now. I showed this in the vlog, I got this from Target. But um, out of all the collagens I've used, the powdered collagens I've used for coffee, I feel like this tastes the best because it has no flavor, but I can kind of almost, like I know it has no flavor, but I can almost kind of taste it still. But like, it kind of makes the coffee taste better. So um, I've been addicted to using my collagen and coffee. The only thing is that you have to really mix it well because the collagen gets really clunky. It like comes in clumps. So you have to mix it super, super well. So I just like froth the whole entire thing. So this is Anto's little breakfast burrito made entirely with products from Trader Joe's. What else? But um, yeah, the tortilla and turkey bacon. I have eggs underneath with some cheddar cheese on top and then the potatoes. You guys, these potatoes are so delicious and they go great with anything. You can have them as like a side for dinner or you can eat them for breakfast or lunch, add them in bowls, whatever. Um, so yeah, I'm just gonna wrap it. I'm gonna add some ketchup on top and then somehow try to fold this up. This might be more of like a breakfast taco, but I'm gonna have the same exact thing except just without the um, tortilla. So I'm gonna just like have everything on my plate and just kind of eat it. living room cleanup this morning. We had movie night last night, so 
Um, there was like popcorn everywhere. Yeah, last night we watched Scream. That was my first time watching it. I really liked it, but we're doing this like marathon now where we're gonna watch all the Scream movies because the new one's coming out in theaters. I'm not sure when, but Anto loves those movies. So um, yeah, we watched Scream last night. It was really fun. Um, but yeah, I usually do like a living room cleanup like every morning now just because it's like the main place that we're at every day. And when it looks messy, then the whole entire like living area looks messy. I just like want it to be like clean and put together. But I think before we leave um, for vacation next weekend, I'm gonna like deep clean the apartment before we go so that when we get back, it'll be nice and clean. Hi, can I do the gold um, full service? Thank you. Got a switch to the glasses because I'm gonna go to dark tunnel. I got lucky. The car wash. There's literally no one here. I'm the first one here. This is great. Usually every time I come here, it's a long line. And especially when I get the inside of my car cleaned, the interior, close to an hour for my car to get washed because this place is like busy all the time. This is great. I don't think I mentioned in the vlog yet, but I just got a haircut uh, on Friday. Today's Wednesday. I think it's like almost time for me to wash my hair. Um, but she styled it, my um, hair stylist. She cut and styled. I also got a K18 treatment, which um, I don't know if you guys have heard of K18. I call it the new Olaplex because I know Olaplex was like very popular with like the hair treatments and stuff. So um, I think K18 is like some type of hair treatment. They sell it at Sephora. They sell it like on Amazon. So I feel like my hair feels good with the K18 treatment. Sorry, it's going to get loud. My haircut, I asked for long layers and curtain bangs. All right, it's too loud to discuss this. I'll talk about my hair later. by Target I need to get some groceries and TJ Maxx is right next door so I just popped in there to see what was up I haven't been in TJ Maxx I think in like over a year but I went in there I found some really cute things so I'll do a little haul for you guys I'm not really big on like buying decor for every single holiday I really just decorate for Christmas and that's really it but the Valentine's Day stuff was so cute granted we're not really gonna even be home for the Valentine's Day season and also since my birthday is like four days before Valentine's Day. I've always not liked the holiday just because like every time it was time to celebrate my birthday, there would just be Valentine's Day everything. Like my birthday cards would always be Valentine's Day cards. My like cupcakes and cookies that I would like bring to school. Remember in elementary school, we would bring um, like desserts and stuff for the class on your birthday. I don't know if anyone else did that or if it was just the schools that I went to, but yeah, every time I would bring cupcakes to class for my birthday, they would always be Valentine's Day themed. So I was just never into the whole like lovey-dovey. Even after I like got a boyfriend, I still did not like the holiday. I would always tell Anto like, we don't need to do anything, please. You don't need to give me anything. If you wanna give me flowers, that's fine. But like, it, I don't, I never like to make a big deal about Valentine's Day, but I saw these towels and I thought they were so cute for the kitchen. Um, they're from the Nicole Miller line. I love this. It reminds me of the the love sign in uh, Philly. Um, and then this one is like pink heart. So I thought that was really cute. And then I got these little scrubbers. It's like a sponge for pedicure. I want to give myself a pedicure before we um, leave this weekend. We're going to be using a hot tub. So like I wanted to give myself a pedicure. And then before we go to Antigua, I'll get like an actual like professional pedicure. But for now, I just wanted to like give myself an own, uh, my own pedicure. And then I did pick up a couple of lashes. I am getting my lashes done tomorrow. I'm going to get extensions. It's been like maybe two months since I last got them done. Um, but after tomorrow, I just wanted to get it done for my birthday. But after tomorrow, I probably won't get them done for another couple months um, just for the next special occasion, which I think is going to be in April for my other best friend's 30th birthday. But um, yeah, so I just want to pick these up to have on hand when my lashes fall off. These are from the cream shop. Um, I know that's a really nice brand and they're like faux mink and they look really pretty and wispy and they're only $3.99 each. So just wanted to stock up for whenever I'm going to need them. 
And then I also needed to get new hair ties. And I really like these because I feel like they look like they could be bracelets. Because one of my pet peeves is like when um, I have a hair tie on my wrist, which is very often. And like I don't want it to look like a hair tie. So I feel like with this, it kind of looks like a little bracelet. Like I know I'm going to be using hair ties a lot on vacation. So um, I can just have it on my wrist and it won't look completely like a hair tie. It'll be like a little cute accessory. So these were $4.99. I forgot to mention the towels were $7.99. And then this little foot sponge, it comes with two of them. This was $6.99. And then I got a pack of more claw clips for my hair. I couldn't resist because these ones look really cute. And I specifically liked this one, this little like marble one. I actually wanted to buy one that I saw on Monday Swimwear is exactly this like type of design and it was like $20. So I also really love this design and then this ying, is it ying and yang? So I thought that was really, really cute. And then this was $8.99. And then the last thing I picked up is just a little bracelet. I wanna like stack up my bracelets for when I'm on vacation. I love to wear jewelry on vacation, like a bunch of like bracelets and like big chunky earrings. So I was trying to find some chunky earrings but I didn't really find any. But I did find this bracelet that is um, like the evil eye hand symbol. I am a believer in the evil eye. It protects you from evil. So I thought this would be a cute addition to my arm candy. It's literally called arm candy. Um, that's the brand. This was $14.99. So that's everything I picked up. Target, um, I have my Target stuff back there. Nothing exciting. I got like water bottles, milk, some snacks, um, basically just groceries. So that's all i'm gonna go home now and i got my car wash oh actually i'm gonna stop by walmart because um anto is into collecting cards sports cards like football and uh basketball cards that's like his little hobby um it's actually really fun i like help him open the packs and like we watch like these things called breaks i'm sure i'm sure uh some of you girls um have your men your your uh husbands or boyfriends that like are into that too because it's very popular in the man world um so i'm gonna stop by target or no not target i checked out target they didn't have the cards he likes so i'm gonna stop by walmart to see if they have the cards he likes so i'll do that and then i will go home and i need to start packing i found anto's cards we're gonna do an unboxing of the cards and i could not resist myself the valentine's day section in walmart was lit they had so much so i got one of these and then I also got these um, Kit Kat blueberry muffins. These are so good. If you guys have never tried them, please do. Oh my, hopefully we get some. Are you nervous? Yeah. Trying to get an autograph. I would like an auto, please. Auto. These cars look cool. I know, they're like pretty. <gasps> Who's that? Oh, that's cool, Devin Booker. Wow, that's nice. I made a sandwich for lunch. It's been a while since I made a sandwich on the vlog, but I made it the way I used to always make it with some low sodium turkey, salt and pepper on top, a slice of low fat cheese, we have light mayo, and then arugula, red pepper, and a lot of balsamic glaze. It tastes so good. And then I have the potatoes from breakfast on the side. Oh yeah, that is the good stuff. Coke Zero on the side, of course. And we're gonna watch Friends. I was getting ready to pack and then I just got this package in the mail. So I had to stop because I really want to show you guys what I just got because it is like the cutest package from Maison Margiela. It's funny because I just filmed a perfume video a couple days ago. That's the video that is right before this one. If you guys missed it, I did a whole perfume and fragrance collection and I named my top five favorite scents and most complimented scents. So definitely check that out. I'll link that below. I literally just got this PR box from Maison Margiela. They're one of my favorite fragrance brands. And this is the, oh my God, the cutest box ever. Oh, it has this little like um, plastic thing on top of these gorgeous images that kind of like represent what this fragrance is about. And then I have the fragrance and the candle. That's what's included. And this is the on a date scent. I don't have this one. I've never even smelled it before. It includes a little slip card of details. It says, Maison Margiela fragrance presents on a date. Is this new? This might be new. Maybe that's why they're sending this. Replica on a date is a warm floral scent inspired by a magical date at golden hour 
overlooking the magnificent vineyards of Provence, the perfect rendezvous. Oh my god, this sounds like it's gonna be a really nice summer scent. And I love these replica perfumes because it has like the time period and the place of what it represents. So the provenance and period is Provence. 2014 the fragrance description in here it says grapes and roses and the style description is memory in a fragrance oh, mm, mm. oh my god this smells like sweet wine definitely very very sweet i can smell the grapes yeah it says grapes and roses it's a very sweet scent that smells so gorgeous and then the candle looks like that same as the um candle and then it's pink mm. Oh my god, I can't wait to light this. This is going to be such a perfect uh, spring scent. I'm going to save this candle for the springtime. I still am burning my replica by the fireplace candle. That one is a very wintry, like fiery, like wood smell. It's very nice for, yeah, the winter time. So I'm going to save this for spring. But Oh, so cute. I love, 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 love Mason Margiela. I'm obsessed with these fragrances. So um, thank you so much. I'm so glad to add this to my... Um, perfume collection. I also got this PR box from L'Oreal. They sent the telescopic lift mascara. It's been a while since I've tried or used L'Oreal's mascara. Has anyone else tried this and do they like it? But it looks good. I feel like it really gives a volume. I might try this today. I'm getting my lashes done tomorrow so I feel like I won't be able to use it after or for a while after I got my lashes done. So maybe I'll try this on my natural lashes today. All right, I gathered up everything that I'm gonna pack for the cabin trip. This is the suitcase I'm using. It's the same one I used when we went to New York, my little base carry-on and then the matching weekender bag. Um, those are all the clothes I'm gonna bring. We're gonna be there for two days and I wanna like take a couple different like outfit photos. I have like a vision in my head for outfit photos um especially with these moon boots i love these they're so cute i don't think i showed these on the vlog but i picked up a pair of moon boots these were so hard to find they're sold out everywhere um they're very popular this year but i finally found one on the uh, actual moon boot website i don't know if it's gonna snow even if it doesn't i'm still gonna wear them i don't care i just want to wear them because they're cute and then I'll also bring my little Ugg minis i have my little earmuffs from mej that i don't think i showed in the vlog either but they are so, so, so cute. And my little fur hat from Princess Polly, I'm gonna bring that as well. And then I'm honestly just bringing like a bunch of layers, like hoodies and a couple pairs of sweatpants, Henley top for layering. I'm bringing a couple of one-piece bathing suits because um, there's gonna be a hot tub, but it's supposed to be really freezing. So I don't wanna wear a bikini. I'm gonna just wear one piece. I just brought a pair of jeans in case I need it, some sleeping clothes, and that's it. I think I need to bring some tank tops too for layering because the weather is supposed to be super, super cold. And then I'm gonna bring my house slippers. I'll bring this jacket. I was thinking of bringing these boots, but I don't think I'm gonna wear them, honestly. So I probably won't bring these. Um, and then over here, yeah, there's a lot going on in the office because this is my pile for... Uh, uh, Antigua, I was about to say Aruba, for Antigua stuff. Like I, all of my vacation clothes are here. I just got this new hat from Lack of Colors. Um, so yeah, I'm just keeping it in a pile right there because I'll pack all those stuff um, up once I get back home. Cause I'll probably use the same bag when we um, go to Antigua because I don't know, I just have like a phobia of checking bags in now. I've seen so many stories on social media of people that I know and then also like other people of how airlines are losing bags so I'm very scared that's gonna happen if that happened in Antigua I would be devastated because I have so many cute outfits planned out so I might just um have a carry-on I might just do this and this again when we fly there but um yeah so for now I'm gonna pack everything up Okay, that was surprisingly quick, but I managed to fit everything in the suitcase. 
The moon boots are very large, so I'm gonna um, just bring them in the bag that they came in. I'm gonna drive my car so I can just like put all the stuff in the back of my trunk. And then I took advantage of the little like compartment on the bottom of the convertible weekender bag. This is the one from base. And I rolled up and put the majority of my like tops down here and my pajamas and my swimsuits. These are all down here. So that's like a good amount of clothes. And then I still have to pack my toiletries and my makeup. I'm not gonna bring that much. Um, oh, and then I also put all the uh, winter accessories, my gloves, hat, uh, earmuffs. That's all in here. I'm just gonna keep it in there. Um, so yeah, I'm gonna pack a little mini makeup bag just in case. I'll put my hair tools, hair products, and skincare in here. And that's it, all packed. That was super quick, but everything managed to fit. Okay, I packed the rest of my stuff, my little compartment bags. I combined my makeup and hair products, like my um, leave-in styling products. I combined it in my cosmetic bag. I didn't bring a lot. I'm probably not gonna even do makeup, but just in case we go somewhere or if I wanna, I don't know, do some glam. So we have that. And then my toiletry bag that I've shown several times. Um, and here I put all of my skincare and then just, you know, like bathroom essentials. All of my hair stuff is here. My like headbands, hair clips, hair ties, toothbrush, toothpaste, all that boring stuff. Um, all of my body stuff, my lotions, body sprays, and then my skincare is in here too. And then I brought a bunch of face masks because we're gonna do like a sheet mask night. So I have like, I don't know, like 10 or 12 different face masks in there. So we have that, I'll pack that in my suitcase. And then in here, my little carry-on bag, I'm gonna bring my hydro flask so I can refill my water. And then the new speaker that I showed you guys in a previous vlog, I'm gonna bring that. And then I packed this little um, medicine bag. It's funny, I put all of my like medicines and supplements in this really cute bag. I have literally so much liquid IV. Um, we have Tums, my inhalers, my like um, Quan Lung. This is like this um, ointment that I use when I'm feel feeling nauseous. And then I'm bringing some emergency just in case. And then a bunch of these um, Hilma packets for upset stomach just in case I have, you know, just a weird upset stomach. Because every time I travel, my stomach al always gets really weird and bubbly and stuff. So I'm going to just bring that. And then my pillowcase that I put all of my vitamins in. I'm obsessed with this thing. I put all of my like multivitamins, my probiotics, um, just all of my vitamins, and then my detox, de-bloat pill, um, and then Tylenol for in case any of us get headaches. Me and my friends, we're so funny. We're like talking in our group chat. Um, we've been like texting all day and we're talking about like everything we're gonna bring and we're all bringing so much stuff. My one friend is bringing so many like vitamins and supplements also. We just want to be very healthy and well rested and relaxed and honestly this is what traveling in your 30s looks like now we're pretty much all like either in our 30s or about to be 30 and this is how we pack and travel now it's so funny so yeah that's um all that's in there and then i have my little electronics uh pouch this is where i'll keep like all my chargers i have my um little clip my light panel that i'm going to use when we take like selfies and stuff and then my Bluetooth remote. I'm also packing my tripod so we can take group photos and then I'm bringing my AirPods. This is my little um, tripod for this camera, my vlogging camera. Uh, and then I'll also put in my phone charger and then my battery uh, charger, my battery for my camera. So that's all that's in here. And then I put all my winter accessories in here. I had to like move stuff around. Um, I think I'm gonna put this here. And then I might take this out. Those are just my Uggs. I think I'm gonna actually just wear those tomorrow. So I'll take those out and then I can put uh, both of these little things in there. And then I'm all set. Hi guys, it's a few hours later. After I packed, we had a little dinner. Nothing like extravagant. I had this leftover pasta that I made the other night and it was like a um, vegetable sauce pasta. I'll vlog that in an upcoming vlog because it's really good, but I actually found the recipe from TikTok. Where else? But um, yeah, we had that for dinner, and then we uh, watched TV, and then I just showered, and now I'm getting ready for bed. Um, I didn't get to talk, or I think I did talk about my hair, but it was in the car wash where it was like super loud. So continuing that conversation, got a haircut. I cut, I cut like two inches off, I think it was about, and I asked for curtain bangs and just a lot of long wispy layers so i'm gonna um style my hair right now 
because I just want it to be ready for tomorrow. Tomorrow I have another busy day so I want to like do my hair tonight so that I can wake up tomorrow morning and just head out the door. So I usually start off by blow drying my hair. I'm going to blow dry my hair with my Dyson and then I'm going to use the leave-in detangling tonic from Odell. This also has heat protection in it. Okay, my hair is all dry now. It's not like totally styled. I'm gonna probably style it more um, tomorrow, but I just wanted to get it dry. But yeah, I've been loving the new bangs. I've been doing like the side part so much now. Um, just like the flipping over. I used to do side part all the time. I don't know, I just feel like the bangs look so much better to the side. What do you guys think, middle part or side part? Leave me a comment below. But yeah, guys, I'm gonna end the vlog here because I'm really tired. I'm gonna go to bed now. I'm probably gonna read a little bit and journal a little bit and then try to go to sleep early because i have a lot to do tomorrow so yeah i hope you guys enjoyed this vlog i won't be vlogging tomorrow but the day after tomorrow is when we leave for the cabinet and i'm gonna vlog that whole entire weekend so yeah definitely look out for that vlog next after this one i'm very excited to show you guys the house we got like the biggest like coolest looking uh cabin and i'm gonna do like a cabin tour and we're gonna do like games we're gonna have a taco night we're gonna just have so much fun it's gonna be very nice chill relaxing time which is how i want to spend my 30th birthday with my friends so yeah look out for that vlog i'll post that vlog probably on monday february 6th so you can look out for that but yeah i hope you guys enjoyed this one thanks so much for watching i'll catch you guys in my next one